What's going on guys, it's Brendan here and today I'll be showing you how to upgrade the RAM on your MacBook Pro. I'm actually using the late 2011 model 13 inch MacBook Pro, but this also works for the 2009, 2010, and 2012 MacBook Pro models. So the materials you're going to need are a MacBook Pro obviously, a Phillips 00 screwdriver, and some RAM. The RAM you're going to want to look for is DDR3 uh, 1066 millihertz type RAM. So you look for the PC3 8500. And you can, I, I use Crucial. I'd really recommend Crucial. Um, I've just read great reviews about them. I did a lot of research before I went ahead and bought this RAM. Um, and I went with the two sticks of 4 gigabyte RAM uh, for a total of 8 gigabytes. Upgrading from 4 gigabytes, I had um, two, uh, two gigabyte sticks for 4 gigs total. So as you see, you're going to just turn over your MacBook Pro and you're just going to unscrew the back plate off it. This part should be pretty self-explanatory and if you got a Phillips screwdriver, you can get one of these at your local tool shop or Amazon. I actually got mine on Amazon when I ordered the RAM, uh, so it just all came together. But it has it's magnetic and it pulls the screws off pretty easy and they just stay on there. It's, it's really easy to uh, unscrew the back. You just have to make sure you have the right tools. It should take about 4-5 to five minutes uh, tops. So this should not be a time consumer at all. But just make sure you follow directions and do everything right and you'll be good. So after that, you're going to want to take the back plate off of the MacBook itself. And this is going to present you with the internals of your, of your uh, MacBook. So that green part right there is actually my crucial memory. Yours isn't going to be green um, if you're just upgrading from the standard. Uh, but mine is green right there. And that's the crucial in there right now. But uh, I'm just going to show you, I basically did the, I basically did it without, uh, I upgraded the RAM without recording it on video, but I wanted to go back and show how I did it. So as you see, I'm holding up the original memory there. The blue is the original. So to upgrade the RAM, you're going to want to pull these little arms outward. So pull them uh, outward, as you'll see me do here in a second. And it's going to loosen up the RAM and just kind of pull it up, as you see right there. Pulls it up nice and easy. And then you're, what you're going to want to do is just pull it straight out, like almost at an upward position. Pull it out and up. It's going to be, you're going to have to give it a little bit of pressure, not too much. Um, it's, it's not likely you're going to break it, but just, it's always good to just be a little bit careful. So as you see, you're going to put it back in the same way. The little gold, um, little gold parts of the RAM are going to go into the gold of the uh, MacBook. You're going to put it at a downward position. And then you're going to click, you'll, you'll hear it go in, and then you're going to push it down, you'll hear it click. As you see right here, and then right there, it should click. I know you can't see because my arm was in the way, but it's pretty easy. And then you're just going to want to make sure it's actually put down. So just kind of press on it and make sure uh, it's secure in there. And then after that, you can go ahead and put the back plate back on your MacBook. And you are pretty much done. You're just going to want to check and make sure you have the RAM uh, actually showing up on your uh, MacBook Pro. So you're going to want to, after you uh, plug all the screws back in again, this shouldn't take long at all. Take about four or five minutes. And then after that, you're going to want to boot up your computer and then go to your, um, your Mac settings, your uh, about this Mac. And just make sure you have the uh, 8 gigs or, or whatever you got. Maybe you did 16 gigs. Whatever it is, just make sure you have um, that RAM and make sure it's showing up on your actual MacBook. As you see right here, I'm booting up. And I'm going to go to, I actually have a memory cleaning app that's going to show that I have like 5 gigs of space left up there. So it's kind of your first indication if you have uh, the memory cleaner app like I do. Uh, but you're still going to want to go to the About This Mac and just make sure um, that it shows up in there and everything's running smoothly. As you see right there, I have memory clean. It shows 5.5 gigs left, um, which obviously is a huge increase over my 4 gigs total where I'd always have, you know, one gig of space left or you know 600 megabytes something like that um, so about this Mac and as you see right there it shows 8 gigs now don't expect too big of an, of an increase uh, in speed uh, as far as boot times but you can actually I have noticed a big difference in running multiple applications and be able to have um, you know video editing go smoothly as opposed to freezing up all the time so it definitely is a difference and I definitely recommend upgrading your RAM and hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Let me, down, let me know down in the comment section below. Also leave a like if this helped you out. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Peace.